guys, it's Clara. Welcome back to my channel. I had a request to do a video of the two meals I'm making for my sister as freezer meals because she just had a baby. So I'm going to do some very simple things that I am throwing together from stuff I already have in the pantry and the refrigerator. So we're going to do kind of like a sausage penne, although instead of penne I'll use mustacholi. Um, and I usually like to use red peppers, but the green ones were on sale. That's fine. It'll still taste good. Um, so I am boiling the water. We are going to cook the pasta and I'm going to be cooking the sausages there. Very simple meal and let's go. And for the pasta, this actually might end up being too much pasta, but I'm just going to make it all and whatever I have as surplus we'll use in some other dishes. So I am very much an eyeball kind of cook. I don't really like to measure things out too specifically with dishes like this. Certainly when it comes to baking, where stuff does have to be pretty precise with baking soda and baking powder and such, um, I certainly am more particular with the measurements, but stuff like this where you can just pretty much throw things together and they'll be fine, then I just, I just leave them. So I put a little bit of salt in the water and I want this al dente and we will cook the sausages. So right now I'm just pan frying the sausages and as you can see a little bit of carrots snuck in there from the um, chicken pot pie mixture I'm making so that's not part of it. But uh, I'm going to make sure these get a nice brown color to them. And then what I'm going to do is kind of deglaze the pan a little bit and then toss the peppers and the onion in there. And I got a little bit ahead of myself, so uh, the pasta cooked really uh, a lot faster because I was doing like 10 billion things at the same time. So I ended up mixing the tomato sauce with it so the pasta wouldn't dry out. Okay, so at this point I have chopped up the sausages at an angle, as you can see. And I have taken one and a half green peppers. Again, I usually like to use red or orange because it adds more color to the dish, but green is what I had. And a half of a large onion. Um, one medium onion will probably do. I'm gonna toss them all together and cook them up so that their juices really absorb into each other. Now this sausage, um, I could have chopped up the sausage ahead of time like this, but I find that I usually end up um, changing the shape and squishing them, and when they end up cooking like this, it actually can take a bit longer because it takes up more pan space, plus they can kind of curl under and have a shape kind of like a bowl. Okay, so now that the peppers and the onions and the sausage has had time to really um, meld together into each other's juices, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it in with the pasta. And I did end up with a bit extra of the pasta, which I set aside. I'll probably put some of the sausage mixture in here so that my husband has something for dinner. And then lastly, I just top it with some mozzarella cheese. And then all I do is wrap this up tightly and freeze it as is. I also leave them a little note of directions on how to bake it. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching guys. Take care.